Hi, I'm Jessica Stafford. I'm an RSPCA Queensland Ambassador and today I'm going to be finding out all about foster care. I'm here with Emma from RSPCA. Now Emma, tell us what is foster care? Being an RSPCA foster carer is just providing temporary care at your home on a voluntary basis for an animal in need. Now who can foster an animal? Anyone over 18 can apply to be a foster carer. Now, what if I've already got animals at home? Can I still become a foster carer? Absolutely, you can still care for pets in your home if you've got existing pets. What we'll do is just match animals in our care to your lifestyle. So the more information you can provide to us about your lifestyle, your working arrangements, and about your pets, we'll be able to provide a suitable match. Can I choose which kind of animal I get to foster? You can pick the animal type that you're interested in fostering, so dog, cat or another type of animal. And what if I'm on a budget and I want to become a foster carer? Yeah, so the great thing about fostering is the food needs for your pet are completely supplied, but you're welcome to treat them with toys and whatever you like outside of that. And why should I foster? Fostering is a great option for people that aren't ready for making a long-term commitment to a pet. And last year alone we placed almost 6,000 animals into foster care homes. So you're doing a great thing by helping animals in need. And fostering is a wonderful opportunity for people to find out a little bit more about that animal. And it helps us find them homes quicker by learning their favourite things and a bit about their personality. And what sort of support is available to me as a foster carer? We have our animal experience team that can help you out. We also have shelter staff and also the veterinary team for all of your needs and questions. Oh, sweeties. Oh. <laughs> How long does someone typically spend fostering an animal? Yeah, so you can foster an RSBCA pet for two weeks, a couple of months, even longer, depending on that animal's situation. So kittens like these guys waiting until they're old enough to be desexed, or other animals like inspectorate animals might be a few more months. And what kind of animals are available to foster? It varies throughout the year, but through the warmer months in summer, we see a lot of cats and kittens, especially younger kittens, mums looking after their kittens as well. But we also have a lot of adult dogs and cats that need foster homes too. Which animals need foster care the most? So we're looking for people that currently don't have any pets at their home and we're also always looking for people that can foster the medium size and large size animals. So our big dog lovers out there. Do you need specialised carers? We're always looking for people that can care for our orthopaedic cases, so cats and dogs that are recovering from surgery so they need rest and quiet at home and also people that can take on animals recovering from hair loss, dermatitis and ringworm and cases like that. So we're also looking for foster carers for our pocket pets, so our birds, our guinea pigs and even animals like reptiles occasionally or horses, livestock, animals like that. Now what about if I want to keep my foster animal? It's perfectly okay if you end up being a foster fail and adopting your animal at the end of its journey with you, but we do have lots of foster carers that continue to just be foster carers to help more animals in need. Well, I've been a foster carer myself and I have to say it's a very rewarding experience. I highly recommend it. Well, thanks Emma for all that information, but finally tell us, how do we sign up? So all you have to do to express your interest to foster is jump online, it's rspcaqld.org.au forward slash foster and we'll get back to you. Thanks Emma. Thank you.